In case you didn't know, I have a Discord server which you can check in the description, and I saw a bit of discussion surrounding the politics of the Animaniacs reboot. Now because I haven't seen this reboot, or even the original to be honest, I'm completely in the dark when it comes to who has the better argument. All I know is that the conversations revolving around the subject are devoid of anything meaningful, which is what I commented on my server, and then Gumzart said that I should make a video about this very thing. And so, I'm doing it. I usually don't talk about politics, although it seems like now even in the cartoon community this is becoming unavoidable. It seems like the question of whether something is too agenda pushing or not is becoming more and more prevalent. I'm sure some of you wonder where I side whenever these controversies rise and my answer to that is, I don't care because the conversation is pointless regardless. Here's a bit of truth for all of you. There are two kinds of entertainment media with political undertones. One is made earnestly with the intention of genuinely telling a good story with some thought provoking political messages and the other one is made with the intention of being more marketable to the public. Corporations have realized that marketing your series with progressive politics is an easy way to garner attention. Whether it's from people who share the same ideology who will then want to promote something they believe to have messages that will contribute to the betterment of society, or even the opposite side of the ideological spectrum who will give it attention by shit talking it, some of them even going out of their way to watch just so they can be outraged about it. Nothing but a game of social media and news outlets. Now as someone who has been paying attention to several online discourses, I've always observed that a lot of people, not necessarily all or even most, but a lot of people, regardless of which side they are, they can't tell the difference between the two types of politically driven media. And this is how the cycle of outrage keeps running. And to be honest, while I do largely blame the corporations for wanting to capitalize politics, I don't even hold that much ill will towards them. Creative decisions being made for marketing purposes isn't anything new, and I'm not someone who necessarily gets turned away by injection of politics. I'm a little saltier when it happens in pre-existing properties that wasn't that political to begin with, but even then, it's a case-by-case -case thing. I am, on the other hand, upset at the people participating in these conversations, because they're all so fucking boring. It just seems like an endless shouting match where two sides have the exact same argument over and over again. And it seems like no matter how much time passes, nobody wants to come into this conversation with a bit more nuance. Instead, all of the same biased points, rebuttals, and personal attacks that you saw during one controversy are just going to get regurgitated into the next controversy. What makes it even worse that a lot of the times what's being discussed isn't even that thought provoking. The thing is, the world of politics is pretty vast and there are so many angles and layers of complexity that you can dive into, that even if you have a side on the whole issue, you'll still have at least a compelling position that you can share as you dissect the many political topics out there, which could even lend a lot of opportunities for really interesting stories, and I think there are a lot of movies, television shows, and pieces of literature out there that successfully utilize the world of politics for intriguing storytelling. But in many of the controversies I see online, like in the cartoon community for example, the topic in question is Animaniacs made a Trump joke, The Incredibles 2 turned feminist, Arthur had a gay couple married, and when you look at both sides arguing, the discussion is whether or not the cartoon went too political, and it's like, really? This is a discussion being had? I have no idea how people don't get tired of having the same fucking argument which isn't even that deep to begin with. You know what I want? I want the conversations to evolve. Now look, I'm cool with representation, I think it's based. But unfortunately, this has been the center of attention in many controversies which will probably not end anytime soon but boy do I wish it does. I wish the conversations revolving around the politics of a certain piece of media went a lot deeper than that. I think this partially falls on the creators themselves for not providing enough talking points in the story. It's why I admire adult cartoons like South Park that has delved into many branches of politics. Even Family Guy, a series that I wouldn't necessarily describe as that deep when it comes to the way they inject politics into the narrative, they've made a lot of funny jokes based on a number of real life happenings even before it became cool to be political. But I mean honestly, I shouldn't be surprised. One of the ways corporate Corporations try to be marketable is by targeting the lowest common denominator. And the unfortunate truth is that a lot of people who argue online are not interesting people with nuanced and compelling opinions on politics. They're just tedious people who can somehow have the same tired old copy and pasted arguments on Twitter about a cartoon that supposedly went political. And to me, that's just fucking boring and I just don't care anymore. Have a nice day.